This week, my guest is a New York Times bestselling author of thrillers, fast-paced crime series. Stephen King is a big fan, and he says about her work, simply put, the finest crime suspense series I've come across in the last 20 years. Her latest is The Dark Corners of the Night, which I read um, in her Unsub series, which I can't find amongst my stack of books. Unsub stands for unknown subject, and I have learned so much by this author. Her stories keep you turning that page on the edge of your seat. I have learned about economy, pace, and complex characters. So I'm really excited to introduce Meg Gardner and her tips for authors. Hi, I'm Meg Gardner. I'm the author of 15 published novels. They've won the Edgar, the Barry, and the Audie Award for mystery, thriller, suspense novels of the year. It took me a long time, I'm talking years, to learn how to write publishable fiction, but I have accumulated a few hints along the way about how to get it done, and I'm happy to pass along a couple to you. Number one, this is something I was told by Leonard Turney, who's a mystery novelist and was my colleague at UCSB when I taught there. He said, if you want to write a, uh, a novel, create sympathetic characters and put them in jeopardy. Uh, that jeopardy can be emotional, moral, or physical. If you're writing a short story, you might just need one of those, but if you're writing a novel, especially a thriller like the ones I write, eventually the peril to the characters had better be physical. Ideally, you're gonna have a mix of all three of those things, uh, physical, emotional, and moral, and that's what's gonna help create a gripping story. The second tip I learned a few years later, it came from Sue Fletcher, who was uh, the editor of my first published novels. She was with Hodder and Stoughton in London. And she told me, remember, a great set of characters will earn you loyal readers, but a big story will expand your readership. So if you want to move beyond writing niche uh, stories or novels, you have to start thinking about how to put your great characters into a powerful story. Because ideally, in the best of circumstances, uh, your book's gonna have both of those combining again into a gripping, compelling narrative. Finally, uh, young writers, new writers say, how do I start? Where do I start? Uh, in a physical sense, you start by sitting your butt down in the chair, putting your fingers on the keyboard and starting typing. As far as your, uh, your work, uh, you start as close to the end as possible. That's what I always tell people when you're writing a story, figure out what the chase is and cut to it. Uh, put your characters in the middle of things and that's where you launch. You don't need to have a long run up. You don't need to have 100 pages setting the scene. Figure out what is the thing that's going to set their world on fire, uh, turn them upside down and set them off on some kind of a quest for redemption, restoration, justice, whatever it is. Figure out what the chase is and cut to it. Finally, I just want to tell you to have fun. Don't be afraid. If you come up with something that doesn't seem to work or doesn't look good to you, well, that's the beauty of rewriting. Uh, if you put words on the page, you can always make them better. Good luck and have fun.